by far my favorite movement drill that I use with my students is high intensity shadow movements, okay? So what we're doing is we're doing shadow swings, but we include high intensity movement. These can be extremely diff tough. Um, you can really stretch yourself to your limit and at the same time, because there's no ball involved, we can really focus in on technique of your footwork or you can focus in on a technique of what you're doing with your arm while you're training your legs, okay? So we can really combine these two things and uh, there, there are so many variations that we can do here. I'll show you a couple for you to get started with, um, but I do this with all of my students and this is by far my favorite way um, to practice uh, movement specifics. Now, of course, this will strengthen your legs, but um, as I'll talk about in the leg strengthening video, you'll get even better results from doing some, uh, some actual leg strengthening exercises. So gym type exercises will give you even more, uh, even better results. But this alone can really strengthen your legs. And at the same time, you can work on your uh, movement technique as well as your hitting technique if you want to do that. All right, so the first drill here is forehands only. Okay, as you can see, I put down a cone here in the forehand corner. You don't necessarily need a cone, but it uh, does give a nice uh, visual input on where I want to move and where I want to hit the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate, do a shadow movement on the forehand, and I'm going to do it with very high intensity. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate maybe three or four in a row here, but you can do this for 20 seconds, um, just like the first step test uh, that we talked about before but you can also do it just for five seconds which would be more of what a point would be like and then your heart rate will go up quite a bit and then you rest for 20 seconds and then you do it again so essentially what we're trying to do with these high intensity um, drills here is we're trying to simulate a point so a point let's say on average is five to maybe eight seconds and then we rest for 20 seconds so now, high intensity means I have to move very explosive. The first step is always crucial in tennis. I have to really explode into the corner and then also explode back to the middle. But the real secret here, and this is where most people will mess up, is you need to be explosive here to the ball, but now I need to kind of slow down and I need to do um, a balanced hit, a high quality hit. Most people, when they do this, they will simulate it with poor technique because they'll explode here into the corner and then as they hit, they'll go back to the middle. Okay, that's a huge mistake. Um, you're going to mess up your shot. You don't want to go back to the middle as you hit. You want to explode from here, boom, into the corner. Now you hit on balance, okay, right here. Hit a nice shot, stay on balance, and now you explode back to the middle. So it's um, explode, on balance, explode back to the middle. Very, very important. Um, what I see over and over is that players will go back to the middle as they hit in this drill, trying to recover quicker. If, you, if the quality of your shot is not good because you're going to the middle as you hit, and if you do that, your, the quality of your shot will not be good, um, then it doesn't help you to, be, to already be back. Okay, it's more important to hit a good shot first. And if you watch the pros, you'll see they find the optimal point to do this. So they will, they will hit and they will hold just for a split second here. Okay, they will stay like this because they need that to stay on balance to hit a good shot. But they also won't stay too long. So they find the optimal point so that the quality of the shot is still good and that they can still recover. Okay, that's something, of course, you have to experiment a little bit with. All right, so now let me demonstrate that. Okay, I'm gonna do three in a row, very high intensity. This is very, very tough if you do it correctly. So push off, balanced hit, push off to the middle. Push off, balanced hit, push off to the middle. Okay, and again, push off, balance, and push. Okay, so that's uh, the forehand variation here. Now, of course, we can do the backhand by itself. And I'll quickly demonstrate here, but the concept is exactly the same. Now, what I want to mention now is, so you may be asking yourself, so how many do I do? I cannot give you um, exact guidelines. The important part is to get started, to do it so that um, your heart rate goes up a little bit, you're challenging yourself, and then you rest for 20, 30 seconds, 
and then you do it again. So if you want a guideline, I would say do, um, do five shots, really exploding over there, hitting, coming back is one, and then do five in a row. And you'll see after five, if you do this correctly with high intensity, um, after five, you'll really be out of breath. Okay, so let me quickly demonstrate here on the backhand side. So I start with a split step, explode, hit, explode, explode, hit, two, three, and again, four, and five. Okay, so that was five, and I'm definitely out of breath now, as you can see, and here, and uh, so important, it is very important to really focus in on your technique to keep, a, to keep hitting a clean shot, not just being running back and forth, okay? So focus on staying there, hitting that shot, finishing that shot, okay? Not doing this stuff here, really finish that shot and then you explode off to the middle, okay? So you can do five, you can do seven or eight if, you, if you're pretty in shape. I never practice this for myself, um, but if you're in pretty good shape, you can definitely do more. And with my students, I often do more. And then you rest for 20 seconds and you do it again. And then we can uh, alternate this in all sorts of variations. I'll show you a couple more in the next uh, video now. The video you just saw is a sample from my video training program on becoming a great mover. There are two elements necessary for you to become a great mover. Number one, you need to improve the efficiency of your movements. This is movement technique. And number two, you need to strengthen your legs in a very tennis-specific manner. You can now try out my tennis movement training program for just $1 for 30 days. Click the link inside this video for all the details.